It's got that honeysuckle chrysanthemum tea infusion, that yellow chartreuse with that cinnamon infused tequila, and it's really transformed and lifted with that Chenin Blanc wine air garnish. Delicious, perfect for springtime. Hi everyone, today I'll be making a spring forward boozy stirred cocktail I'm calling I'll Be Your Honeysuckle. This cocktail has a honeysuckle and chrysanthemum infusion, cinnamon infused reposado tequila, yellow chartreuse, and a secret weapon on top, which is a wine air made from Chenin Blanc. Boozy stirred cocktails are a favorite of mine, but as we're nearing spring, I find myself gravitating more towards lighter, fresher, more bright cocktails, but I'm not quite ready to leave the richness of the winter boozy stirred cocktails behind. Enter this drink. This is a springy, boozy stirred cocktail, but it still has that effervescence from the wine air that really lifts the cocktail. The wine air garnish is perfect for a cocktail like this, but choosing the right wine is crucial. Thankfully, that's been made easier for me by today's sponsor, Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is a wine subscription service that sends you the best wine for you straight to your door. The world of wine can be intimidating, even if you know your way around a wine shop. I know I've been fooled by a pretty label more than once. What's great about Bright Cellars is they take all of the guesswork out of it for you. It's really easy to get started. Go to their website, take a short seven question quiz, and their algorithm uses the results to match you with wines from all over the world to suit your palate. Once your selection is chosen, you can refine it even further. And even better, you can rate the bottles from your bundle to improve your future matches. And if you don't like one of the bottles they send you, they'll actually send you a brand new bottle of wine to replace it. Each bottle comes with tasting notes, pairing suggestions, and information about the wine is from, and the optimal serving temperature. The algorithm pretty much nailed it for me. Chenin Blanc is one of my all-time favorite varietals. When I read the tasting notes for this wine, I knew the floral and stone fruit notes would add a much needed lift from boozy stirred winter drink to bright springtime sipper. I'm super excited to show you guys how I use this Silverscape Chenin Blanc in this cocktail. Thank you Bright Cellars for sponsoring today's video and giving my viewers their first six bottle subscription box. Usually over $155 for just $55. Click the link in the description box below to take the quiz and get started today. All right, let's make this cocktail. We're first going to be making our vodka and tea infusion with honeysuckle tea, chrysanthemum tea, and some locally sourced honey. The honeysuckle tea is going to give that beautiful perfumed floral aroma. If you want it really, really floral, very honeysuckle forward, please, if you can, use fresh honeysuckle blossoms. I actually got this tea from Harney and Sons. If you are looking to find it, you can find it on their website. It does have that beautiful floral scent to it, but it is a little bit more vegetal. The chrysanthemum tea is also going to lend a beautiful floral sweetness with an earthy taste, and it'll help round out the honeysuckle. I won't be using too much as it's pretty powerful and I don't want it to overwhelm the honeysuckle flavor of this infusion. We'll be adding all three of these ingredients to a neutral spirit to infuse. And you can be pretty creative here when it comes to what kind of spirit you want to use. I'm choosing to stay pretty neutral. I'm using vodka. Um, however, in my first try, I actually used a Blanco tequila, which I thought was really good. Um, Sotol, if you can find it, would also be a really cool option to really like add that grassy funkiness to it. I'm going to measure out about a half a gram of chrysanthemum tea and add it to our mixing container. Then I'll measure out about two grams of honeysuckle tea and add that as well. I'm going to add one cup of vodka to the teas. If you can get your hands on some fresh honeysuckle, I would go equal parts vodka to honeysuckle and let it sit overnight. Give this a stir and I'll let it sit for about six to eight hours. I'm not adding the honey yet as I want to gauge the sweetness first. After it's infused, I'll strain out the tea and taste for sweetness. Smells good, smells like perfume. You gotta taste it. Ooh, and it's a little sweet too. Now to add a little extra sweetness to it, I'm just gonna add a couple tablespoons of honey. You can add less or more honey here depending on your preference, but I want mine to have enough sweetness to hold up against the cinnamon tequila we'll be making, as well as the wine air garnish. After giving this a stir, I'm going to bottle it up for when we'll make our cocktail. The shelf life on this should be at least three months, but always use your best judgment. This infusion would also be great in a bee's knees. 
When I was originally developing this cocktail, I knew I wanted to do it like a boozy stirred kind of thing. Um, so Peychaud bitters felt like a natural fit, especially with the flavor profile I was going for. There was a lot of competing aromatics happening. So I decided to instead infuse some Reposado tequila with some cinnamon to get just the right amount of spice. I love using tequila in cocktails, especially aged tequila. The aging process adds some lovely vanilla and spice notes, which is why it works so great with cinnamon. I'm going to be cracking up one small cinnamon stick and infusing it with four ounces of tequila. I'll let this infuse for a few hours, but you can let it infuse longer depending on how intense you want the flavors to be. This combination is going to help ground our sweetness with a little bit of spice and help bridge those cozy winter flavors into spring. After the infusion process, simply strain out and bottle. This cinnamon tequila would also work great in a cranberry margarita. And now for our fluffy garnish, the wine air garnish. I will be using the Silverscape Chenin Blanc. But first, let's give it a quick taste. Just a little swirl to aerate the wine. When tasting wine, you want to smell it first. You'll want to stick your nose in the glass and keep your mouth slightly open. This helps you take in more aroma from the wine. Oh yeah, this is gonna go great with the cocktail. After one more sip, I'll grab our stabilizer and build this air. Soy lecithin is derived from soya beans and once mixed with the wine will help to separate the air and the liquid to give us a nice stable bubble structure. I'm going to be mixing about 0.9 grams to 150 milliliters of Chenin Blanc in my not ready for camera mixing container. Sorry, it's all I had. Ideally, you'll want a container that is tall with lots of surface area. I'm going to use my immersion blender here, and after a minute or so, you'll see the separation of the liquid and the bubbles accumulating at the top. This is where the foam forms. There are different amounts for different liquids and also different desired bubbles. I wanted something that wasn't too airy, but rather similar to the head of a beer. After nearing my desired bubble structure, the trick here is to let this sit for a minute or two. You want to let it sit for about a minute or so. That way you're not just layering in a bunch of liquid that's still stuck in the bubbles. That extra time allows the liquid to move from the foam to the bottom of the vessel, leaving only the stabilized bubbles on top. Now we're ready to build the cocktail. I'm starting with one ounce of the honeysuckle liqueur, one and a half ounces of cinnamon infused tequila, next a half an ounce of yellow chartreuse, and if you really want to lean into the spring flavor, you can add a lemon twist right here. Now I'm adding the ice and stirring for about 30 seconds. Now I'm pouring it over a large rock in a rocks glass and topping with the air. I probably should have used a bigger spoon to speed this up, so we'll just cut to it being completely covered. There we go. Now for a taste. Wow, that's really good. It's evoking exactly what I wanted to. So it's like my idea of being excited about spring, but at the same time, not quite ready to give up those boozy stirred drinks. This is a sipper. It's not something that you want to just knock back. You really get the beautiful floral notes. I think that the yellow chartreuse really just kind of rounds everything out. It gives it that extra sweetness, makes you feel like you're in a meadow somewhere. It's just really beautiful. And a little bit of brightness that it might be lacking for a spring cocktail really comes through from that Chenin Blanc air. The sharpness from the wine air really cuts through the heaviness of the drink. I mean, when we're talking about Reposado tequila, where I already have some baking spice in there with the cinnamon, the honey that I'm adding to the honeysuckle and chrysanthemum infusion can kind of weigh it down a little bit. So this kind of really cuts through that sweetness and really adds some much needed lift and airiness to the cocktail. I'll be exploring some different variations of this garnish in cocktails and also some non-alcoholic cocktails as well. It is a really versatile tool to have in your arsenal. But for now, I'll be sipping on this delicious boozy stirred cocktail. And if you want to see one of my ultimate favorite boozy stirred cocktail creations, check out this video here.